So I brought you in a little closer to show you what I'm talking about. And what I'd like to do is make a bracket that bolts into this T-slot that then comes out, holds a stepper motor that drives a worm gear that will bolt to the side of our dial here. So that way when the gear turns, it turns the dial really slow. And we don't really care about precision or anything like that as long as it's consistent. All right, so we got our mandrel made. It spins freely on the post that fits our inner diameter. So our gear blank is free to spin. And I was gonna part it off, but I don't think I'll, I'll do that. I think I'll part it off after if it's even, if this even works. So we've got our half 20 tap in, in the chuck and now we'll go with our depth of cut.
spinal depth. And we changed the setup a little bit, and I'll zoom out and show you that. Um, but essentially, we have stainless plates as weight on our wheel. We have our tailstock with the drill chuck holding a center point on the tap to for a little bit of extra rigidity. And it's not the best setup, but it, when we come around the front, you'll see why. But we're just running it right now to just running it, let not not taking any cut, just a spring cut essentially to try and hone the the wheel to uh, get rid of most of the vibration. Give you an overview of what the setup looks like from the front, and you can see why we had to use the drill chuck because our readout is right in the way of where the live or dead center would be and we couldn't get the length to reach the tap so it's essentially just a spacer and if I zoom in you can see it you can see it vibrating which like I said is not the best setup but it's good enough um, and there, if you remember, we bored out the wheel. So what I did is I actually filled the cup with oil. So you can see the reflection in this shot. You can see the reflection of the drill chuck. Essentially, that's all the oil slowly leaking out. But um, as it vibrates, the oil damps the vibration. So as the hob pushes on the wheel, when it wants to return, it has to suck the oil back into the gap, so it, it, it uh, damps the oscillation. So to give you kind of an idea of how much vibration we have, you can see the dial reading right off of the, um, off the surface that we turned. And we're, we're looking at about a foul or two of vibration as it's cutting and the nominal value doesn't change as as it turns so I'm hoping that we're running true but as you saw with the drill chuck vibrating what does that even mean what what is true when the tap or the hob is going in and out of the wheel so but everything looks pretty stable and it's running good so Next step is to park the worm wheel off of the blank and, and go from there.